this video we'll be solving a numerical related to the chi square distribution so the problem statement says that five dice were thrown 96 times and the number 1 2 and 3 appearing on the face of die follows the frequency distribution yes the table is given here so we have to test that the hypothesis follows we have to test the hypothesis that the data follows binomial distribution so firstly the data given here is observed frequencies and we need to calculate the expected frequencies right so the probability of a single die throwing one two or three the probability of single die throwing one two or three is equal to three by six right three times uh, like that that could be three possibilities out of six so that is one by two when p value is one by two we know that q is one minus p that is q is also 1 by 2 and n value is 5 so next we have to calculate the binomial distribution so let's write the binomial distribution formula that is p of x is equal to ncx p of x qn minus x so this is the formula now let's substitute the values we can write it as p of x is equal to p of x is equal to 96 times of n value is 5 c x p value is 1 by 2 x and q value is also 1 by 2 phi minus x here we have multiplied it with 96 times because uh, the dies, the five dies were thrown 96 times. So here we need to multiply it with 96. So x value, x value they are given, uh, x value ranges from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we'll go in the similar order. This is x. Okay, so we'll go in the similar order. First, p of 5 is equal to 96 into 5c5, 5 1 by 2, 5 and 1 by 2. 5 minus 5 is 0. So when you solve this, you get the value as 3. And then we have 4. 96 into 5c4, 1 by 2, 4. And here 1 by 2, 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. If you solve this, we'll get 15. And p of 3, that is 96 times of 5c3, 1 by 2 cube, and 1 by 2 square. So you get 30 here. Next we have P of 2. That is 96 times of 5C2. 1 by 2 square. 1 by 2 square. And here 1 by 2 cube. So the answer would be 30. Then we have P of 1. That is 96 times of 5C1. 1 by 2. And here 5 minus 1 is 4. Here 1. So solving this if we get 15. Next we have P of 0. That is 96 of 5C0. 1 by 2 0. And 1 by 2 5. That is 3. So we have found out the estimated values. So all these are estimated frequencies. Now, formulating a table with the data which we have obtained. So, you can write it as observed frequencies as 7, 19, 35, 24, 8 and 3. From the given question, I am writing the 7, 19, 35, 24, 8, 3. I am writing it as observed frequencies here. Okay. Next, we have the estimated frequencies that we have obtained. EI value that is 3, 15, 30, 30, 15 and 3. Next we have OI minus EI. Then we have OI minus EI whole square divided by EI. So solving this we get 
So we have 7 minus 3 is 4, 19 minus 15 is 4, then 35 minus 30 is 5, 24 minus 30 is minus 6, 8 minus 15 is minus 7, 3 minus 3 is 0. Now squaring this and dividing it with EI, so 4 square is 16 by 3, here 16 by 15, here 25 by 30, then here 36 by 30, 49 by 15 and 0. So if you solve this, you get 5.33, 1.066, 0.833, 1.1, 3.26. So writing the formula first, that is chi square is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n, n values 5 here, oi minus ei whole square by ei. So if you find summation of this, that is the final answer that we get it as 11.7. So, the answer which we have got here, chi-square value is 11.7, okay. And they had told that chi-square of 0 0.05 is equal to 11.07. So, we can see that chi-square value is greater than chi-square of 0 0.05. That is 5% uh, level of significance. So, when this condition appears, we can say that the hypothesis... Uh, the data, we can say that the hypothesis that the, uh, follows binomial distribution is rejected. So, it is rejected here. In order to accept the hypothesis, we know the condition which is opposite to this, right? It has to be less than this. But here it is greater than this, so this hypothesis is rejected. So, I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.